So one of the most asked questions in the comment sections or in my DMs that I get is, what song should I choose? What type of song would be best for me? Can you recommend me a song? And the answer to that is no, I cannot help you find a perfect song for you. And I've never ever even heard your voice. I don't even know your style. And when you comment things like, okay, I've got a soft voice, kind of sounds similar to this idol, that doesn't really help me out with anything. So in this video, I'm going to be helping you throughout that, not exactly choosing you a song, but helping you choose a song. So I'm going to be guiding you guys through what kind of language you should do it in, what genre, if you should use the company song or not, other factors that may contribute to helping you find a perfect song for you to sing or rap in. So the next episode of this two-part series, it's just two parts, is going to be dancing, but in this video I'm going to be um, sharing some tips to help you find the perfect song for singing and rapping. And please guys, don't comment things like, do you think this song by Blackpink is good to sing? Do you think this song by BTS is good to sing? And I'm just here like, have I listened to your voice? Do I know what your singing sounds like? No, I can't recommend a song for you and I can't tell you if this song or that song is right when I have never heard your voice. And so people ask things like, so how can I actually get you to listen to my voice and recommend me songs and just evaluate it overall? And that is Patreon. You can join Patreon. There's actually a new tier coming in March. I don't know if that's out yet, but you can join Patreon for that because I do evaluations on there and I also recommend songs too. But more so like Patreon members that I've seen for a while and I kind of know their singing style, dancing style. So if you are really struggling with finding a song, you can always join Patreon. So we're going to start with singing and the first category that we have is language. And the first thing that people go for is K-pop songs to sing. And actually, I don't really recommend doing that because a lot of people that are auditioning with a k-pop song are not really fluent in korean and they can't really pronounce the words right and that's only showing your weakness to the judges which i don't know why you're trying to do you're supposed to show your strengths in an audition that's why it's an audition to show your talents what you're best at so don't go for a k-pop song if you aren't good at korean and the next factor that you need to look into k-pop songs is the popularity level so if you're planning on singing a blackpink song if you're planning on singing a bts song twice song nct song whatever it may be if it's a popular song from a popular artist most likely someone has already done it before. And if you choose the same song as the others, you're not going to stand out at all. In fact, the judges are going to not like it because they've seen that song 10,000 times before and they don't really want to see someone else sing it again. And overall, K-pop songs don't really look professional while you're auditioning because when you are doing a K-pop song, the judges might just might think that you are just a K-pop fan wanting to audition and wanting to pass and getting, to, getting into the company because you want to see your idols. You do give off that vibe. If you are choosing all Blackpink songs for your dance, for your singing and your rapping, that is not something that you should go for. And unless you're saying this K-pop song suits me so well, it's not popular at all, I can pronounce all the words then you do have a chance, but other than that, I really would not go for it. The next thing that people will ask a lot is, can I do a song in my own language that doesn't really have anything to do with K-pop? So anything apart from Korean, English, and maybe even Japanese and Chinese, I would not go for. It isn't what they're looking for. If you're going to sing a song in Spanish, why not become a Spanish idol, right? You're auditioning to be a K-pop idol and most of the time, most of the time, they don't sing in that song that you are fluent in. That may be Spanish, that may be Tagalog, that may be Hindi. Whatever it may be, you're probably not going to use it as a K-pop idol. So I wouldn't go for a song in your language. Obviously, it depends on what your language is. So the last thing that people ask is, can I do English pop songs, like American pop songs? And that's kind of like a yes or no. It really depends on how popular the song is. So if you guys have seen my series, I evaluate a bunch of people and see like what they can improve on, what they're doing good. And if you can see that series, that's great. But in the series, there's a lot of songs that are repeating and tons of people do the same song. This could also see those YouTube auditions you see of clips people singing or dancing or rapping on YouTube. If you see like too much of that one song, then you probably want to avoid that as well. It's not good to be doing the same thing as others. You won't stand out. And really, really popular pop songs from like Taylor Swift or Ariana Grande or Justin Bieber, those songs are probably not the best because like I said, popularity 
and overall I wouldn't go for overused songs as for the reasons as I said before. So the next category is company. Say you're auditioning for YG, should you really sing a Big Bang song, a 21 song, a Blackpink song? No, you shouldn't. Companies judges work at the company, let's say YG, and they will compare you to the artists themselves. So if you are, say, singing to a Blackpink song and you can't hit the notes that Rosé did or you can't pull it off as well as Rosé, they're just going to compare you. So no, do not choose a song from the company that you're auditioning for because again, like I said, it does seem like you're just a fangirl and you're auditioning to meet Blackpink or meet Big Bang, whatever that may be they might think that and plus you could be compared to the actual artists which is never a good thing no matter how great you are you probably are not as great as the idols let's just admit that and so the next thing is other company songs so rivals let's say you're auditioning for yg but you want to audition with an sm song firstly their style is way different so if you are singing into the new world which is very overused by the way i would not go for that that's more of a song that you would use for practicing and training however say you're auditioning for yg and you choose that song for singing it's not a good thing their vibes are totally different and if you are singing that kind of innocent kind of more feminine kind of song yg is not really looking for that kind of style that's more sm style so if anything you should audition for sm with that song however they could compare you and it's overused so i wouldn't really go for that but it wouldn't be a good idea to audition with a song of their rivals because it's just not good rivals they're rivals for a reason right so the next category i have is genres so the first thing I have is pop songs, like American pop songs, K-pop songs, and generally I would not go for those. Because usually pop songs are more kind of dependent on the rhythm rather than the vocals. This is most of the time. And if you find a pop song that really suits your voice well and that it shows your talent really well, then go for it. However, most of the times it does not. And I would say if your expressions are good, then the song would also be great but most of the times pop songs are more happy rather than sad right and sad songs are a little bit easier to connect to and put your emotion into put your feelings into but if you do think that your cute and bright expressions are your advantage and they're your strengths then maybe try to find a song that relates to that as well. So the next genre I have, which is pretty interesting, are OSTs. So usually this would mean Korean OSTs. And I would probably say a yes or no for this, just because if you are fluent in Korean, definitely go for it. Because most of the times OSTs tend to be a little bit more sad and a bit more emotional, hence it's easier to connect yourself to. But if it's more of a happy OST song, I wouldn't really go for that. Same goes for pop songs, right? But if you are not fluent in Korean and your pronunciation just really sucks, don't do that. The next song is ballads. So ballads are a yes, definitely. Because they're sad, they're emotional, and you can really put your emotion into the singing. And if you just avoid the things that I tell you in that ballad song, like being overused, being bad pronunciation, if that's none of your problem, then go for it. And I'm just going to go through a lot of miscellaneous kind of things that you guys ask me and whether you should choose it or not. So songs you wrote or composed is a no. It just generally seems kind of unprofessional, I guess. And most of the times the songs you wrote or composed will not be as amazing as the ones that are already out there and pretty kind of popular, I guess. Um, but usually it's not that great. From the ones that I've seen, I'm not very impressed. The next one is entire song using head voice. No, that, that one's a big no. You should never sing using your head voice the entire song. That just, even if it's 30 seconds, that's kind of what you're showing to the judges, right? So you don't want that. The next one is balance of head voice and chest voice or entirely chest voice. That's a yes. If you have a balance of um, chest voice and head voice, then it's totally fine. Just make sure head voice doesn't really control the song and you're singing. And the next one is high notes. High notes are always great to show if you are good at them. If you are bad at them, it sounds like you're strained. It sounds like you're really just forcing yourself to do the high notes. Do not go for it. But if it does really highlight your range, your vocal range, then go for it. How long it should be, usually 30 seconds to a minute. But if they ask for a specific amount, then you go for it. Some people will be like, okay, so on this website, it says that I should do 
two minutes of singing. However, I want I only have 30 seconds. So should I just hand in the 30 seconds? And I'm like, do you think rules are there to be ignored? Or sometimes the audition will be like, okay, only girls can join, only boys can join. And they'll be like, okay, so it says only boys can join, but can girls audition? Like, what would happen? You're breaking the rules. They're, they aren't going to see it. They aren't going to accept you no matter how great you are. You are following their rules and that's just bad punctuality. Yeah, they don't want you in your company if you're breaking rules to get in. And one more thing to say, it's just common sense to know that. I don't know. Maybe it's just me who thinks that, but come on guys, let's just have some common sense and apply that to auditions as well. It's the same thing. Anyways, next, songs you can add emotion into. Definitely a big yes. So those were all of the factors for singing. And if there are other factors, it's probably insignificant. And please don't ask things like, okay, how do you think this genre would sound on me? Because like I said, I can't say a yes or no for that. And all of the things that I've explained in this video are the general things that I have seen in my experience. So if, those, if it doesn't go with yours, then apply it to kind of what I said. I'm sure it applies to something. And yeah, the next thing we're going to go for is rapping. Rapping is, it isn't singing, but the criterias for rapping are a little similar to singing. So generally, the things that I said for singing are the ones that you should also follow for rapping. So the language, the company, the genre, well, maybe not genre, but other things like that, generally you should go for the same as singing. But some things are different, such as your speed. Some people think if you're just fast, 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 and you're just really good at rapping in terms of speed, then you will immediately pass. But no, that's actually not the case. It doesn't matter if you're fast or not. That doesn't determine if you're a rapper or not. Obviously, rapping is somewhat of a fast singing, but it's not entirely that. There's more to it, more to rapping than just being fast. So say there's person A who's really fast at rapping, but they sound robotic and emotionless. Person B is not that fast, but kind of moderately fast, yet they sing or rap, sorry, rap with emotion and swag. And they've got that vibe, you know? They'll look for person B more than A. They don't need someone who can rap like a robot. They need someone who can actually rap with emotion. If they need person A, they'll probably just hire a robot, you know? Technology is advanced these days. Next, writing and composing. This one is a little different for rapping because singing usually doesn't turn out that great when you're writing your own lyrics. It can get a little cringy. It's not that creative from what I've seen, from what people have like sent me. But for rapping, I think your lyrics, like you can write your own lyrics. However, you should use someone else's melody, someone else's backtrack or instrumental while rapping. So if you want to write your um, rap, you want to write the lyrics for your rap, then go ahead. Maybe it could be introducing yourself. Maybe it could just be talking about really any topic that's appropriate for an audition, obviously. And yeah, that wouldn't be a bad idea if you are talented in lyrics. If you're just going to write some kind of not so great crap, don't go for it. You can always find other raps that are out there. Other things is songs with singing. So you want to do rapping, but you also really like singing and you think, okay, can I combine the two? So like a song that has both singing and rapping and flows well. Yeah, this is actually a really good tip. If the company doesn't allow rapping, then pretend like you're auditioning. Well, you are auditioning for the singing, check mark that. But while you, during the 30 second to one minute mark, make sure you also add in a bit of rapping in there too. So that really turns to the song that you're looking for. So the song that you're looking for should both have singing and rapping. So some people ask me, is it okay to swear in a rap or a song really? And I'm like, no, it's not really that necessary to show yourself swearing. They won't care that much, but you can always say another word instead of that. There's no need to show that off. However, it's not that big of a deal. Just choose a song that fits your vibe. Your vibe could be swag, hip hop, or it could be something else, whatever that may be. Choose a song that actually follows your style and the judges will be able to see that. So that is all. Thank you so much for watching. This has been a highly requested video, actually. The next episode will be dancing and kind of the similar things like what song you should choose for dancing. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.